Hello my awesome viewers, my name is Alex and welcome back to Fire Promoter. This is episode 2 and on today's episode we're going to start things out by trying to sign Pac. Because he defeated Scorpio Sky in our last event and I want to get him on our roster. Well they don't hate us, said I can say for sure. Negotiations require $1,000. Now we spent a lot of money last last month in in game in the last episode so only the only option is to spend a lot of money again <laughs> because I really want pack so we're going twenty thousand dollar bonus let's see if he decides to sign yes we've got pack on the team and that's thirty thousand dollars already spent this month and we haven't even done anything that's without even inviting people I wanted to invite two people for this because I think it's time we do Nah, I was going to say a tournament, but nah, it's not time yet. We need to have a little bit more uh, matches before we do a tournament. So, let's see who else we can get. What is this? Who is this? I can't tell. 90s. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's the Ultimate Warrior. Why is he in Europe? I don't know. So, now that I know that we're a um, King's Road company, I can kind of look for King's Road people to uh, invite. Hmm, but I don't think that really matters, to be honest with you. Uh, Finn Balor? No, his face doesn't work. <laughs> Iron Sheik? Should we get the Iron Sheik to show up? Shark Boy? No, I kinda had the idea for somebody that I wanted to get to put up against Mickey Williams since he's a frickin' crazy person. What about Dr. Luther? Yay, we got Luther, so we'll put him versus Mickey Williams. And a sort of nose qualification match. And then let's get one more person. Uh, Thomas Walker had a big win. So let's see who we can get to face him. Let's get somebody who's a face, but sort of a bigger guy like him. Uh, we could do Bray Wyatt. I don't know if he's technically a face, though, but we could do that. Um, China? Nah. Uh, let's see. Who could be another... Kind of big person to face him. Let's see, EC3? Hey, he's kind of a heel. Um, hmm. Let's see. I don't see anybody sticking out so far. I mean, I love Jack Evans, but I don't know if he'd really go good against him. I mean, we don't have to do against him. I mean, I guess I could get, like, Jack Evans and put him up against Bill Bullock, because he kind of had, like, a fast paced match, and versus Evans could be good. Yeah, we'll get we'll try to get Evans if he wants to. We got ourselves a deal. Okay, so let's book our event. Standard event. Normal match. Let's get this one going. So let's set up our main event first. What do we want our main event to be? I'm gonna look at my notes real quick on my phone. Give me a moment to kinda go over who won on the last show so I can kinda think of how I'm going to do this here. So on our last show, Mickey Williams defeated Matt Robinson, David Houston defeated Bill Bullock, Thomas Walker defeated Jack Howard, and Pack defeated Scorpio Scorpio Sky. So I think for this show, I'm going to do David Houston versus Pack as one of my matches, and I think that could work as the main event, honestly. Um, but we do have Doctor Luther, Jack Evans, but I think I'm going to do Thomas Walker versus David Houston for our main event of the show. Let's get Thomas Walker there. And David Houston here. Then for our co-main event, that's where we're going to do Luther versus Mickey Williams. So let's go get a Luther. And he is a showman style. Should be hardcore. I don't know why he's except as showman. <laughs> what attire do we want for Luther? They're getting this one. I like that. <laughs> and then um, here for this one, we will do... Where is Jack Evans? We'll do Jack Evans. Taking on uh, Bill Bullock. Here we'll have, let's see, let's see, let's see. We've got three faces left, but no heels. So I guess we'll just do Scorpio Sky lost his last match. Uh, I believe all these people lost their last matches. So yeah. Uh, wait, we only have three people? Oh, great. Kind of need to get somebody else in, don't I? Yeah. Why do we only have three more people left? Am I being dumb? 
Oh, no, we have Pack, too. I forgot. Okay, so... Pack, though, he got that big win uh, last week, so... Maybe he should be... He should probably be in the main event. Nah, we'll put him in the opening contest. We'll put him up against... Uh, let's see. Who should face Pack? Uh, we'll put him up against Jack Howard in our opening match. Uh, so Pack there, and then we'll get Jack Howard here. I like that. And then, finally, we'll do Matt Robinson versus Scorpio Sky. I really like that match. So that should be good. Um, let me see. Is there anything else I want to do? Can you, can't you move entries? Yeah, you can swap wrestlers. I think I'm going to change up how this card is aligned. I think I'm going to make this our main event. And David Houston versus Thomas Walker, whoops, didn't mean to do that, can be our co-main event. Mickey Williams versus Lucer, I like that as the first net. We'll do Robinson versus Sky as the first match. Uh, and then... Um, nah, I kind of like... I'm confused how I want to do this. I think that's good. I'm going to do it like that. Um, so now let's just configure the match settings. So Jack Howard versus Pack, unlimited, 125 speed. We want a high on the criticals. That's good. David Houston versus Thomas Walker, 125 high. Again, Bullock and Evans, we want 125 high. And now we're going to turn off... The DQ count, the that is for the ring out count, right? Yes. Turn out the count off on the outside. Uh, turn rope breaks off. That way they can have, they can do whatever they want. Watch them not even use weapons or anything like that. But this will be a good match, I think, Luther versus Williams. And then we can have Scorpio Sky versus Matt Robinson in a normal style match. So that's good for that. Now let's see if we can book a bigger venue. I don't know if we can. Oh. Mmm, okay, so we can book a small hall for sure. Uh, or a uh, small hall in the American uh, rural. But in urban, we're kind of close, but I don't really think there's any way we could make it to 5,000. So let's instead go back to American rural, and we'll do a small hall. Can we do $20? Nah. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do 10 And then advertising, none. Actually, if I think about it, if I go to Gymnasium and put this up to, like, no, that's too much. Eh, I don't feel like doing all the math to try and figure out what would be more money, so we'll do Small Hall at $10. And referee for this show will be, uh, we'll do Charles Robinson from WCW. Here we go, so that's going to be... Our card, let me go over everything real quick. Everything's good, I think. We'll confirm that. And we have ourselves an event ready to go. Let's get this one started. It's finalized. Management decisions. Oh, wait. Let me go to, again, I almost forgot again. Go for merchandise. We still have some shirts that we can sell, so I'm not going to buy any more of those. But I'm going to see goods are 12 bucks, so we'll buy some of those. thousand of those. There we go. I think that is good. Let's go ahead and proceed to our event. Oh, no. That's not good. So, Jack Evans didn't show up. That's probably going to put a, a damper on our attendance. Oh, God. That's not good at all. All right, well, time to make the best of the situation. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted him on the card. Badly. Damn it. Stupid Jack Evans. Let's, let's just start our first match. Scorpio Sky versus Matt Robinson and just hope we have just tremendous matches all throughout so that we can um, get a good rating for this. <laughs> Great. Waste of money on Jack Evans, who didn't even show up. Unbelievable. One thing I forgot to do is I forgot to change the style of the match. If I would have changed it to the Lucha, he probably would have showed up. So, anyway, let's forget about it for now, and let's focus on our first match. Scorpio Sky versus Matt Robinson. Two men who were unsuccessful on our first show. Matt Robinson, of course, 
uh, lost to Mickey Williams in the opening contest, and Williams used many underhanded tactics, including a freaking scythe in their match. And in the end, Matt Robinson would be the loser. Going for that Northern Lights? No, it's got her into a DDT. There by Scorpio Sky. He's got to the midsection and a forearm. Scorpio Sky got kind of embarrassed by Pack as well on our last event, so he's definitely looking for a big win here tonight over Matt Robinson. That could definitely help him gain some much needed momentum after that loss. As these two men looking for attacks on the other but missing. Now they lock up. Sky sends them off the ropes, but Robinson hung on. Now Robinson got him up. No, Scorpio Sky lands on his feet, hits the shoulder, or forearm, I should say, to the back of the head. That was not nice. Runs that Northern Lights again, but no, it's countered again. Into a DDT by Scorpio Scott. And now, here we go, back and forth they go, and Scorpio Sky gets the advantage. Now Scorpio with the kick to the back. As each man tries to gain the momentum over the other here. Big knees to the midsection by Matt Robinson. Now the choke applied. And uh, Scorpio Sky was able to get out of that. Now they lock up. Sky with a snap suplex. Takes down Robinson. Kick to the back and a snapmare drags him out of the corner going for that northern lights again but every single time he gets DDT dropped down on the head it's not going well for Scorpio Sky here they lock up big elbow to the back by Robinson Robinson misses that kick Big super kick right to the face, so that could be at one. Only a one count. Scorpio goes for a chop. That miss. It's sent off the ropes at a kick right to the legs. Takes his legs out from under him. As now Robinson gets sent into the corner by Sky and a big boot to the face. Super kick to the back, but Robinson stays on his feet and connects with a super kick to the head of... Scorpio Sky, but now Sky with the uh, rushing leg sweep, but again, kick right in the face by Robinson. Some would say he's putting the educated feet to good use, and my god, what a spinning head scissors there by Scorpio Sky. Amazing skill on that one. As he gets sent head first into the corner, running back elbow to Sky. Sky, though, connects with the elbow to the back. German suplex just tossing him onto his face. My God, what strength. Sky, way stronger than he may look. My God. Absolute power there by Sky. But now he gets dropped with the Northern Lights into the arm bar. Seemingly a staple of Matt Robinson's moose at that. Northern Lights armbar, but now getting tossed again by Scorpio Sky as he goes off the ropes. Connects with a float over DDT. Oh, midsection kick followed by the pedigree. One, two, no. Scorpio Sky kicks out. Robinson sends him to the outside to catch himself a breather. They lock up. Oh my god! He just threw him out of the ring. Up top and down. My God, what a match. We're starting this one out hot. And he gets a belly to belly on the wooden floor. And now a suplex on the floor. Sends him almost into the barricade, but Sky was able to stop himself. Now Sky has him up and Brain Buster. My goodness. Here's the cover by Sky. One, two, no. Kick out, and he gets taken down with a kick. Robinson and Sky off the ropes, they miss. Oh, Sky stealing the pedigree. Not even going for the pin, the disrespect as he goes off the ropes. Tilt the whirl, head scissors. They lock up. Robinson 
got him up and down on his face. Up again. The sleeper hole applied. Will that be the end for Scorpio Sky? No. He's able to break free again. Another belly to belly. Tossing him onto the apron. Out to the floor. Scorpio Sky showing ruthlessness tonight. He knows. After last week, he needs to really prove himself here. And he likes wrestling as he gets hit with a lariat. And another. And another. Three straight lariats. And Robinson with the fourth. He's fertilizing him. Off the ropes. He'll get to the back of the head. But Scorpio Sky hits the step of Enzigiri. Climbs to the top. He leaps. Hurricane run off the top. Off the ropes. Float over DDT. A huge chain of offense for Scorpio Sky here. He gets sent into the corner and kicked down to the mat. Big roundhouse kick to the head. They lock up. Got him up, bent down with the vertical suplex, but Scorpio Sky's up first off the ropes with the knee drop. Matt Robinson has taken a lot of damage. Both of these men have. Oh, nice combination. And now Robinson up top. Double stomp to the midsection. Lariat again. P.K. Goes for the roundhouse. It missed. Shot to the midsection. Pedigree. One, two, three. Matt Robinson has done it. He defeats Scorpio Sky in our opening match. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our first 100% match ever in Alex Wrestling. My God, what a match. That was freaking awesome. That should have been the main event. <laughs> I have to keep that in mind for the future. That was just absolutely fantastic. And now <laughs> we're moving to something completely different with Dr. Luther taking on uh, Mickey Williams, the original Death Dealer. Gotta go one on one with Williams, the man who brought out forks and scythes and scythes and uh, brought out pieces of wood and uh, kendo sticks and all different kinds of crazy stuff in his last match. And here tonight we have a no disqualification contest between he and Luther coming to you here on A Let's Wrestling. Hope you're enjoying the show. I know I am so far after that amazing first contest. If you are, please of course like the video and subscribe to see more here on the ALX YouTube channel. Now, Luther with a backdrop suplex there. Snapmare takes him down. See, Jack Evans may have uh, decided not to show up to no show here. And sure, those personal reasons could have been uh, uh, legit reasons. But Dr. Luther, never going to no show you. He is the most respectable man in all of pro wrestling. Now, he's got, uh, he's up. Blood rushing to his head before he gets dropped down by Mickey Williams. They lock up. Luther sends him off the ropes and a big kick to the face. Takes down Williams. Chop to the chest. Williams, though, sends him face first into the corner. They lock up. And now Luther biting the head of Mickey Williams until he's busted open. That's just disgusting. Now oh, the side headlock applied. Goes for a chop. It missed. Williams takes him down. Oh, he's got the leg. The leg of Luther, but Luther able to get out of it. Break of the eyes. And now, returning the favor is Williams. Biting the head of Luther open. And now, driving the fork into the back of the head. My God, this is disgusting. They lock up. Shot right to the balls. They lock up again now. And Luther biting the open wound. This is just awful in the best way possible. Now Mickey Williams got him up and drops him down. Really, that, br uh, that blood rush to his head and pour out of his forehead. Williams' cut seems to be worse than Luther's, but Luther bleeding a little bit as well. Kick to the back of Williams. He locks up. Big lariat. Goes behind and just tosses him down to the ground. Big kick to the back of Williams. Punch right to the face. They lock up again and more Give bites up. to the head Give by up. Mickey Williams. Absolute maniac this man is. And he's got blood pouring down his face all over his chest. 
Luther goes for the cover off the kick to the back, and it's only a one count before Williams got the shoulder up. Big Larry. Kick right to the back and to the cover one. No. Only a one count before the kick out by Mickey Williams, who goes for a cover. Only one count for him as well. Dr. Luther hits the snap suplex. Locks up, but now the fork being driven into his head again. This man just take a fork wherever he goes so he can take a bite out of somebody. Oh my god. Atomic drop followed by the spear. Nice combination and now stepping on the open wound of Luther. But Luther! It's a beautiful butterfly suplex. And breaking the eyes, breaking the face. It's a fork. Makes its ugly return. Luther and Mickey Williams putting their lives on the line here for your entertainment. And Williams just absolutely ruthless with that silverware. My God, won't stop just stabbing Luther in the head. This might get age restricted. Oh, kick to the midsection and Luther just falls to the ground. The fans definitely not a big fan of Williams here, but Luther connects with the shot to the balls off the ropes and another spear by Mickey Williams and watching his Roman Reigns tapes. Got it up and drops him down with a high angle. Back drop suplex. Luther now got him up and a big power bomb. Picks him back up. Goes behind. Elbow to the face though by Williams and now biting the head of Luther again. Is Luther going to quit due to head biting? No, he gets out of it. And now biting the head of Williams. This is gross. My God. Like two vampires in the ring sucking each other's blood. Big Larry in the corner. I'm loving this. Big DDT by Luther and now. Knee to the grapes. Big spinning kick by the big man. They lock up. Luther got him up. And another power bomb. I don't think either of these men really even want to beat each other. They just want to pound each other's faces. Rip each other's flesh. Stab into the open wounds. Okay, we're getting a little crazy here. And now, Luther from behind, but he gets just his area de just destroyed. And now he has to tap out to the Cobra Clutch. And Mickey Williams not showing any sign of letting go of the hold. What a match, my goodness. Only an 82%. That should be 100. That was fucking awesome. Oh, my God, what a match. I think I want to run that one back as soon as I can. My God, that was really, really good. Let's get ready for our next match, though. Definitely going to be a change of pace when David Houston takes on Thomas Walker. And now Houston sends him off the ropes. Big drop kick connects with Thomas Walker's face there. And Walker now goes for a kick. It misses elbow to the back, though, in the Le Mahistro, but that's not going to be the end. Way too early to get the job done here for David Houston. Now, oh, look for that jumping flatliner, but did not connect. Instead, he takes Houston down with the dragon screw. Now, both men up again, and Walker continuing to drive the head into the mat now as the Boston Crab applied, but David Houston was able to escape. Last, in our uh, last episode, David Houston defeated Bill Bullock in a great contest, and Thomas Walker was victorious against Jack Howard in another great match. So, oh my god, he might be dead. No, he kicks out at one after that devastating Hurricane Rana. Now, attacking the back of the leg. And Houston, though, countering, and it's the standing moonsault, but not going to get the job done this early on in this match. They lock up. Houston got him up, bent down, with the vertical suplex. He drags him away from the corner. It's the rolling senton, and out, back and forth they go. Big forearm, right to the face, takes down David Houston. They lock up. Houston gets sent into the corner. Walker going to put him up on the top rope, looking for something big here, but it's countered at two. Oh, my God, he could have broke his neck. How did he kick out at one? 
He went off the top rope with a sunset flip powerbomb, dropping Walker right on the back of his neck, and somehow, Thomas Walker kicked out a one. Is this man even human? Good God. Now a shot to the back. Houston with the cover. No. Big kick out there. Hurricane Rana takes down Walker. Is that it? No. Walker able to kick out. Oh, and there is the detonation kick followed by another moonsault. One, two, and oh my god, that was close. Just like Houston's last match, this one just going 100 miles per hour since the beginning. Definitely a guy to look out for here. All, all of uh, Alex Wrestling's roster seems to have impressed so far. And now, Walker with a kick to the head takes down Houston. As they lock up, Houston catches them. Angel's wings. Lama, he strolled, but he had his hand, his fingertips on the rope. And now here's the cover again with the victory roll. But this time, that was Walker kicks out. Good for that. Big uh, jumping flatliner did not connect. Detonation kick, though, was successful for David Houston. Another Angel's Wings. Lama, he strolled, but again, in the ropes. Might have been paying too much attention to that last match, didn't. Pay attention that this match has rope breaks, unlike our last match between Luther and Mickey Williams, as Thomas Walker does not connect with the elbow drop. And David Houston firing the crowd up, but could have took too much time there as Walker able to capitalize. But oh, there's a victory roll. It's over. He won. David Houston gets the victory with the victory roll aptly named. In a surprising fashion, David Houston is our winner of that contest. Very surprised with that victory. Houston gets the win and continues to be undefeated here in Alex Wrestling. He and Mickey Williams and Pac so far are undefeated here. We'll see if Pac can stay undefeated as he takes on the 0-1 Jack Howard in our main event. This one, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be... A good one, I guarantee you that. Let's get into it here. I'm pretty excited, are you? I hope so. And it's time for the main event of the evening. And it's starting out with that very odd submission hold that Jack Howard likes to apply, but it looks painful. And so did that big power bomb off the Hurricane Rana attempt, but Pack kicked out. And Howard continuing to use his power here in this contest. In fact, these two men might be two of the strongest men here in Alex Wrestling. Pack just absolutely yoinked, completely ripped to the bone. And Howard, very muscular as well. The tallest man here. And Alex Wrestling as he hits another pop-up power bomb. He wants a big win tonight after losing last week, or in our last episode, to Thomas Walker, but he gets caught with that big drop kick. It's a big boot, but Pack does not go down. Pack sent off the ropes. He ducks under. Now Pack, though, with the elbow to the back. They lock up. Pack sends him into the corner. Pack might have been looking for a run up there, but Houston was able to stop that. Whoa, big uh, uppercut by the bastard. And he gets slammed down, though, by Jack Howard. As the momentum quickly shifts and Howard goes off the ropes, looks for a lariat. Thankfully for Pack, though, he was able to duck under it. And here we go, uppercuts from Pack, chops from Howard. And Howard's the one to go down to the mat. Big knee to the midsection. But again, the submission applied to the arms of Pack. Oh, huge lariat there by Jack Howard, but he gets taken down to the mat. And now the Hollywood hunk is in trouble. As not the surfboard as I called it in our last episode, the bone arrow was applied, but Jack Howard got out of it, has the camel clutch applied, but Pack got out of that. Another lariat by the big man seeing a lot of lariats tonight on the show, and I ain't complaining. Well, nice jab right to the face, but that kick levels Jack Howard. And now Pack goes off the ropes and connects. 
with a big running kick to the face. They lock up. Howard with the uh, butterfly suplex with the bridge, but Pack was in the ropes. Here's the cover one, two, no. A two count though. Pretty good for Jack Howard so far to get a two count this quickly over Pack. Pack with a shot to the midsection goes for Lariat. That missed. Jack Howard's Lariat attempt missed as well. Now Pack trying to put him up on the top rope. Countered and sent to the floor off the apron from that suplex. They lock up again. All throws they both go. They collide. Neither man going down. Kick in the midsection though. Will take down Jack Howard. But now package pile driver. He can't capitalize though. I don't know if he can. No, he's going to go for something else. Go through the discus. It did not connect. He does hit the scoop slam though. Now he locks up. Both men off the ropes. Float over DDT by Pack. Howard hit the pile driver, but I think he figured that he took too long to go for the cover. Opted to go for something else. Could have been a mistake. He, maybe he should have went for the cover. Now, going for another package pile driver. But again, Howard struggling to get to the cover. He pulls him away from the ropes. Goes for the pin. No, a kick out from Pack. Took too long. Gave Pack too much time to regain his momentum, regain his stamina. Nice Frankensteiner there. But he gets caught with a fall away slam. Almost getting tossed out of the ring again. Howard up top with a big fist drop off the very top rope. They lock up. He's got him up and down with the brain buster. Lock up again. Another uppercut from Pack takes him down. Pack with the enziguri to the back of the head. They lock up, but Howard takes him down with the DDT. Off the ropes, huge Larry. Goes for the discus, it missed. Both men off the ropes and a drop kick by Pack. Man of it definitely living up to its hype here. This one is getting good, folks. Climb to the top rope. Elbow to the back. That's just not nice. Here we go. The fighting spirit from both men. As Pack hits the super kick. Howard back up. Discus Lariat. Oh my god. Personally, I think the next person to hit their finishing move might be the one who gets the victory. Back up top with Howard. Superplex off the top rope. In the corner. Oh! My voice cracked. I was so surprised. Off the big kick to the back of the head. And now the package pile driver to him. Into the strength of Saturn. My god. Is he gonna tap? He didn't tap. Pack hit his own move against him. The package pile driver in to the rings of Saturn. But Jack Howard got out of it and hits the brain buster. Big uppercut to Howard. Big elbow to Pack. My god. What a main event you are seeing here. As Pack hits the Enzigiri. Oh, he's got him up. Of the TKO, the cover. Does that spell the end for Pack? It does. My God, one episode after losing his first match, he gets a victory over the man who's possibly the biggest star here in ALW thus far. Pack, Jack Howard, just defeated him. In that contest, what a show. 87% rating. Let's get our results for that show. I'm very happy with that. Of course, we didn't have as many fans because Jack Evans wasn't there. We want to consider a smaller venue. Uh, I think if I would have changed that match, his style, to Joshi, or not Joshi, to Lucha, I think he would have stayed. Uh, Nyla Rose won the AW Junior Heavyweight Championship. Rucker Romero won the Impact Heavyweight Belt. And, or uh, AC Romero, not Rocky Romero. Uh, Arisha Hoshiki won the Junior Heavyweight Championship in startup. Warner, you know, uh, for Brody and Jay Lethal, I guess, won the ROH Heavyweight Tag Belts. Uh, so, 
we still are losing money. So for this next month, I might not be able to sign anybody, um, sadly. So I'm going to try to, you know, be a little more careful with the money because I'm kind of being a little um, reckless thus far. And I don't want to go out of business right at the beginning and have to start all over. So I'm going to cool down on uh, our budget, try to use a little less. Uh, face are a runaway success. Fans could get enough of their match. So they like our faces. Cool. I think I want to actually start to kind of make some tag teams soon. Boss, I know you got your hands full, but you got to set up a gym. Go to management menu and then select training center. Renova renovating the amenities helps your talent grow stronger and prevents in injuries. Renovating the gym increases your roster capacity. All right, let's get the training center off the ground. I'll go ahead and do that real quick before we end the video. Where is it at training center? Uh, thirty thousand dollars? I'm not doing that yet. No, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I think that's good for our first ever a, or not first ever, our second ever <laughs> Alex Wrestling uh, episode. I am just flabbergasted after that event, and I just cannot talk. Because, uh, honestly, that was really, really cool. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you enjoy this series going forward. And I hope you come back to watch more. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe. I have been Alex, and I will see you next time.